Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the Anna 2 with PID from Lalit in Italy. The Anna 2 is a compact single boiler machine that has a PID controller. A PID is essentially a digital thermostat that controls the extraction temperature of your water inside the boiler. Alongside the Anna 2, I'm using the Eureka Facile grinder and I'm also using these beautiful cups from Inker. To demonstrate the Anna, I'm going to make a few sets of drinks, both, es both espresso and milk-based drinks. I'm also going to discuss all the features of this machine. Like I mentioned earlier, the Anna is a single boiler dual purpose machine. And what that means is that you have one boiler that's responsible for both coffee and espresso production. It's very compact, it's got a very small, uh, very attractive body, nice uh, mirror finish uh, made out of stainless steel. Uh, over here we have the PID of course and that's the temperature controller. It's currently set at about 94 degrees and that's of course Celsius. And the way you control the machine is over here. Uh, there's a switch here which is a three position switch and in the bottom position which I have it in is the coffee position. That's if we want to make coffee. The middle position is if we want to get water and I'll demonstrate that a little later as well. And of course moving into the top position is where we get steam. So the uh, boiler will raise the temperature. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I'll show that when I'm making those drinks. Over here on the right hand side we have a manometer, a pressure gauge. This measures our extraction pressure. So once the pressure builds up inside the group we get the resistance from the coffee. Uh, this will go to, to 9 bars and what that allows you to do, uh, it gives you some insight into your extraction. You can see if your coffee is ground properly. If you have a proper espresso grind which is fine enough, uh, it should be in that green zone at about 9 bars. The steam wand on the Lolite is on a ball joint so you can move it in many different directions which is really nice, really comfortable. It's got a single hole tip uh, and the way you turn the steam on and off is with this knob here on the right hand side. I'll also mention the water reservoir. The water reservoir is accessible uh, from the top. You can, I'm just going to remove my cups here, open up this door and the water reservoir is right here. And a neat feature that Lilith has included is on the left side of the machine here, uh, we have a kind of a window to the water reservoir so we can see how much water we have left. Uh, you can uh, easily see if you need to refill your water, that, that's a nice feature. So now to demonstrate the Anna, I'm going to make a few sets of drinks. And the first one's going to be a double shot of espresso or uh, two espressos. And I just removed the portafilter and alongside the Anna I'm using the Eureka Facile grinder uh, which is a great pairing with this machine or with any espresso machine really. It's got Eureka's silent grind technology so it's very quiet. It's also got stepless grind adjustment and it's very easy to use, just a manual grinder. So you press the button in and once you have enough coffee like I do right now, uh, you, you let it go and then we tamp. The Lilith Anna has a 57 millimeter portafilter, so I'm using a 57 millimeter base tamper. I'll engage my portafilter there, put in my cups, and begin my extraction. So we're getting a nice extraction. You see that the manometer is at 9 bars, so I'm right in that uh, green area. Uh, I'll also mention that the toggle switch on the left here of course is in the bottom position and that's the coffee brewing position and then I pressed the pump button into the up position of course to turn on the pump. I'll stop it right there and I've got two really nice shots of espresso with beautiful crema, beautiful striping. The second drink that I'm going to make is a milk based drink, a cappuccino. So I'm going to move the toggle switch all the way to the top position and what the machine will now start doing is heating up the water inside the boiler to steaming uh, temperature. So that takes approximately, usually uh, on machines uh, of this type and boilers of this type, about 60 seconds or so. So once the machine reaches uh, steaming temperature, uh, this light will come on indicating that it's ready. It's usually at about 130 degrees Celsius, uh, so I can begin frothing my milk. And I open up the valve and there's quite a bit of steaming power. Even though it's a single boiler, single boilers uh, tend to give you quite a bit of pressure. Um, it's moving the milk very nicely. And I can steam, this is a 12 ounce pitcher, but I can easily steam a larger pitcher as well. You can use a 20 ounce if you want to make two drinks. I'm only going to be doing one right now. Okay, there we go. I turn that off. I'll give my wand a wipe. 
make sure it's clean. Just a quick purge into the into the drip tray. And now what we'll have to do is we'll have to bring the temperature back down to espresso temperature. And the way I do that, I put the toggle switch into the middle position, which is the water position. And I like to put a empty pitcher here, open up the valve and turn on the pump. And what we're doing is we're introducing cold water into the boiler to lower the temperature. And once this becomes a steady stream of water like it has, I'll turn it off and I'll let the temperature drop. Uh, this will drop back down to our, our uh, whatever we have it set at. I actually have it set at 93 degrees, 94 degrees, I believe. Uh, so uh, it will stabilize at that temperature. I'll close the valve there. And I'm just going to give it a moment in order to stabilize. I'll put in my portafilter in the meantime. Put my cup down and uh, here I'm at 91 right now. And at 93 I'm going to be comfortable with extracting so I, I toggled it down to the coffee position and I'll extract my coffee. There we go, the espresso is done and all that's left is to add the milk. And there we have a nice latte. If you want to make a cappuccino, of course, you can make more foam to give that nice cap. Uh, but you do have that option quick and fairly easy. The final drink that I'm going to make is an Americano. And to make an Americano, I'm going to put my cup here and extract my espresso. Now I usually like to do Americano's uh, water first, uh, but it, with a single boiler machine, uh, that's uh, not what I recommend. I recommend doing espresso first and then adding the water. So uh, it's a little bit different. If you've watched any of my other videos, it's a little bit different than I usually do it. But with a single boiler machine, I do prefer to do coffee first. So I'll turn it off right there. And that is my shot of espresso. And now to add water, I put it over to the steam side. I put the toggle switch in the middle position and in just a moment when my temperature rises back up to uh, over 90 degrees or 93 degrees, I'm going to uh, put some water into my cup. Uh, it just takes a couple of extra seconds. You see it's already rebounded and I'm going to open the wand and just add some water. That should do it right there. I've got myself a nice uh, Americano. The Lalite Anna 2 is a great choice for the home espresso enthusiast. The PID control not only gives us the ability to change our extraction temperature to really get the most out of our coffee, but also gives us stability. From one shot to another, we know that temperature is stable. The machine is made in Italy. It's got a very compact body that will fit into any kitchen, and it's also very attractive. It's got this mirror finish stainless steel body that will look great in your kitchen. The Lalit Anna 2 also offers tremendous value for the money. The features that you get for the price are really exceptional. If you have any questions about the Lalit Anna 2, the Eureka Facile Grinder, or even Inker Porcelain Cups, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com and ask for help. We're always ready and willing to offer it. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about espresso machines, coffee machines, grinders, everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching and have a great day.